Steen's anomaly is one of the cyanotic congenital heart diseases in which natural survival to adulthood is not uncommon. A co-picture demonstrates the gross distal displacement of the septal tricuspid leaflet and the atrialized portion of right ventricle marked as ARV. A portion of the right ventricle is atrialized due to distal displacement of the septal and posterior leaflets of the tricuspid valve. The anterior tricuspid leaflet is large and sail-like. It produces a loud tricuspid component of first heart sound while closing which is called the sail sound. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. About half of the patients with Epstein's anomaly can have atrial septal defect or patent foramen ovale. In Epstein's anomaly, the right to left shunting is not due to pulmonary hypertension but because the tricuspid regurgitation jet is directed across the atrial septal defect. Almost half of the patients with Epstein's anomaly have evidence of a right-sided axillary pathway with a WPW syndrome. This can be associated with atrioventricular re-entrant tachycardias as well. Right atrial overload with tall Himalayan P waves and polyphasic or splintered QRS complexes are the other ECG hallmarks of Epstein's anomaly. The age of presentation in Epstein's anomaly may vary from childhood to adulthood depending on factors like the severity of tricuspid regurgitation, associated abnormalities like atrial septal defect and the pulmonary vascular resistance in the newborn. Auscultatory hallmarks of Epstein's anomaly are multiple heart sounds, loud T1 or sail sound and a scratchy superficial diastolic murmur due to tricuspid stenosis. In the adult, a striking feature is often the huge enlargement of the cardiac siloid contributed mainly by the large right atrium and the atrialized portion of the right ventricle. This x-ray from a person with Epstein's anomaly shows cardiomegaly which is not so huge and right atrial enlargement. Cardiomegaly with relative oligemy of the lung fields and reduced cardiac motion can produce a stenciled out appearance in Epstein's anomaly. The large right atrium and an association of right-sided axillary pathways make Epstein's anomaly prone for supraventricular tachycardias. Localization and ablation of axillary pathways in Epstein's anomaly is difficult due to the large